Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike and this high school basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. All of our Long Beach Poly coverage this year sponsored by Juju Smith Schuster and the Juju Foundation as well as Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. We go to St. John Bosco for the first day of the Bosco Winter Classic action. Long Beach Poly and Dominguez, a couple of historic public powers taking the court to start the season. Long Beach Poly looking for their first win this season for head coach Shelton Diggs. They're off to an 0-3 start against three good teams who are undefeated themselves to start the year. You obviously know that Giovanni Ruff is wearing one for a reason, as in one comma, he's the... Jack Rabbit's playing great defense. They only gave up 10 points in the first quarter here. You can see really tenacious all over every possession, but Polly a step up offensively, and they will be playing from behind even while playing great defense. A lot of plays like that. Just one little step away from uh, an easy layup. Elijah Legrone, meanwhile, gets his strong night started for the Dons. And Ryder Maddox knows Polly's struggling. He says, let me get to the rack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not try anything too fancy. Let me just get an easy bucket here. Legrone on the baseline. He wanted the and one too. Ref didn't go for it as he's going to pick himself up. And then watch Polly. I mean, this is the bread and butter for the last 120 years or so, defense and offense, as Maddox takes it away and goes and scores it. And then the Jackrabbits tying it up at 10 after one, thanks to this buzzer beater from Ruff. That's going to make it 10-10 after the first quarter. So some good defense from Polly, but definitely that offense still kind of finding its rhythm early on. And go ahead and hydrate, young fella. Ruff continuing to power Polly. He had half of their points in the first half. Dominguez going to catch Polly sleeping on a nice look from Isaac Sowell right here. That's a nice way to beat the half-court defense. Just chuck it down and get in behind it before Polly has a chance to set up. Shepard is going to find Ruff. That's going to give the Jackrabbits a 22-18 lead. Just slowly growing their lead through the second and third quarters of this game. But uh, Elijah Legrone wearing double zeros. His name is Elijah Legrone, and this is a Legrone-ass man move right here. The and one with five seconds left gets the pump fake to get him off his feet and then draws the foul. He hits the free throw. That puts Dominguez up 23-22 at halftime. As I mentioned, this is an early season game and just kind of one of those games. Both teams playing hard on defense. Uh, the offense is not quite there yet. Dons are sitting in a zone here, and Asuna Negbu says, that's fine with me. The Dirty Dozen knocks down the triple for the Jackrabbits, and then Ruff, just too smooth, able to get to his spots in this game when he wanted to. He finished with a game-high 17 points for the Jackrabbits. He is lethal in that mid-range. Obviously been doing a lot of work to kind of uh, build some muscle and be able to get to the rack more easily. But he does blow a tire on the next play. And while he's getting his shoe back on, Onegbu is running to the corner right there. He says, give it to me. And he's still perfectly fine with Dominguez sitting back playing defense in that zone. Knocks down his second triple of the third quarter to help the Jackrabbits grow their lead. And then this time it's Cash Stokely looking like Cash Stoke 3 walks right into a wide open 3 and takes it. Giovanni Ofegbu is going to help the Jackrabbits out to an eight-point lead with the steal and score right there. He was fired up about that one. But you know, Legrone, just uh, the guy in the right spot, beats the buzzer again. That's going to cut the lead to 37-31 going to the fourth. Jackrabbits trying to put this thing away, working it inside. Antonio Wembley finding Ryder Maddox in the paint. And then Kyrie Shepard, the senior, gets to his spot. Polly for sure is going to need more scoring from Shepard. But that puts him up, 43-33. to 33. Jack Rabbit's lead in the double digits as Negbu finds his way into the lane. But Dominguez did not go away. Sowell is going to hit Legron. And then they got to the free throw line a lot to cut the lead down to four. On this play, sloppy pass, Aaron Butler takes it away. And that's going to cut the lead to two points with less than a minute left on a 7-1 run for Dominguez. Great stuff from the Dons, kind of testing Polly. Not playing with a lot of composure, just rushing it down and getting a shot up. They do draw a foul there, and they're going to make their free throws but give up a bad one here to Seoul in the lane to cut it to two again. Jackrabbits kind of felt like trying to give this game away a little bit at the end of it here. Shepard at the free throw line calmly makes two to make it four points. And just where you think, okay, six seconds up four, they, they got this in the bag. 
potentially a foul. Could have committed a foul right there on a three up by four. Definitely still a young team figuring it out, and you can see that. But they do get a much-needed first win of the season, 53-49 to over Dominguez. Jack Rabbits will be back in action at the Bosco Winter Classic and in the Beverly Hills Tournament every day this week. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. Basketball season just getting underway here in Long Beach. A ton of games coming your way. So for all of that coverage, you got to keep it right here at the 562.